Welcome to this Windows channel and today in our Back to Basics episode where we revisit different options and different ways of working with Windows 8 to help everyone have a better Windows experience. We are going to show you how to add and how to remove accounts in mail. So if you need to add accounts in mail in Windows 8.1 or remove an account, this is where you are going to learn all of that. So mail is a email client that is with Windows 8.1. It has one thing that might be a problem for a lot of users. It does not accept pop accounts. So that's the first thing you need to know. If you want to set up an account that needs to use pop as the uh, servers for the account, well, unfortunately, mail does not accept that this will be fixed later on in windows 10 the new mail app uh, reintroduces pop accounts so if you have a pop account now the reason because a lot of people told me well that's stupid that's actually it's not that stupid it's the fact that a pop account is an old way of actually getting mail and imap is actually much better because it helps synchronize in an um, easier way the mail accounts between computers and you know, and today where we have smartphones, we have computers, we have tablets, and all of that needs to sync the mail accounts. It's better to use IMAP actually than to use POP uh, for the sync uh, options between devices. So what you need to do, you go into your mail app. That's the first thing. So it should be either a tile on your desktop, or if you don't see it, it's also in the list of apps. But you can also search for it by using the search function on the uh, start screen or in the charms bar and just type mail. You should see a blue icon with that white envelope. This is mail. Now, if you set up your computer with a Microsoft account, you'll notice that there's already one account for mail that exists. And that's because the Microsoft account is automatically added to the mail app. Now, if you are looking for a way to remove this account from Mail app, I need to warn you, you cannot remove this account. It is impossible to remove. The only account that you cannot remove is the one that is synced through your Microsoft account. But you can add or remove any other accounts. So to add an account, all you have to do is go into your charms bar when you are on the Mail app. Go into Settings. Here you should see Accounts. If you click here, you'll see the different accounts that you have. You want to add an account, just click Add an Account. You'll choose what type of account you need to put on. It's quite easy since a lot of people are already using either Outlook.com. So if you have an out, by the way, in Hotmail, Hotmail is an Outlook.com address. So if you have a Outlook.com or Hotmail, uh, or if you have, you are on Enterprise, you might use an Exchange account. You have uh, Google and you have Yahoo. These are already set up properly. But if it's not one of those, then you'll click other accounts and follow the different instructions. As you see here, pop is not there. So you'll have to sync either with Exchange Active, Active Sync or IMAP. Now, if you have a pop account, there's a good chance that your email provider can actually um, change things and add IMAP to the possibilities of connection to your account. But from experience, I know that some email providers do not actually do that. So, um, you know, check with your email provider if you're not sure. So that's how to add an account. What about if you want to remove an account? You'll simply go once again in the charms bar. You'll go into the settings, you'll go into accounts, and you'll click the account that you want to remove. From here, you just go at the bottom, and at the bottom, you'll have Remove Account. This is where you need to go to remove an account from your computer. Now, remember, if you are trying to remove the account that was used when you uh, created that Microsoft account, like here, for example, there's nothing. You cannot do this. There's no remove. As you see here, the Remove Account is uh, kind of grayed out. So uh, 
to do that, you'll need to actually change the PC settings. So you'll need to change that account setting if you really, really want to remove it. Or else just, you know, don't look at it. It's there and that's it. It doesn't matter anyways. So that's how you add and remove accounts in mail. It's uh, not complicated, but it's darn complicated to find that setting because you have to go into the charms bar. You have to go into the settings. Uh, that's probably what makes it more complex because apart from that, it actually works really well. And mail is uh, actually in 8.1 mail is actually not that bad of an email uh, software and email um, program. In uh, Windows 8, if you're not jumped to 8.1, Windows, uh, your, your mail app is actually not that fantastic. So, you know, I really, really uh, hope everybody goes to 8.1 on this because mail is much better in 8.1. And, you know, when you'll uh, go to uh, Windows 10 later this year, uh, you'll see that the mail app is actually quite good in Windows 10. It's really, really much improved uh, and even more improved from the 8.1 version and of course like I said it has it brings back the pop accounts in mail if you have any comments or questions on what you've seen let us know maybe you like our videos why not subscribe to our channel you'll be informed when new videos are online if you have any comments if you have any videos that maybe we can make or any uh, thing that you'd like to learn and that I haven't actually talked about let us know we'll try to either answer the question or maybe make a video to help you learn how to use um, this Windows 8.1 operating system. Thank you for watching.